Jeff is here from Zoo Montana, and you brought some little froggies with I you. I did. I thought it would be a great day to talk about Australian amphibians. Oh, why? It's a, day. it's a perfect day. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, but these. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Ed, when Ed's here, we're like siblings. <laughs> he gets the links. <laughs> when I'm here, you bring frogs. That's Jeff. what they, they told me to do. I, I mean, they just said that you love frogs, and so By I the had way, to bring th it. There are no missing simulated coyotes at the zoo this morning. <laughs> yeah. You're not hunting just, wabbits, are you? Hunting wabbits. I mean, yeah, right. we don't need that. Look at these two good little things. So first of all, you've got the cute one. This is actually yes. called the white tree for frog or the dumpy tree frog. I know it's kind of a cute little name, but they're called that because they do look kind of dumpy as mm -hmm. they sit up in the tree. And this guy dressed up for us today. He's actually wear wearing uh, open-toed shoes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Get, see what I did? I saw what shoes. you did. It was yeah, great. That was terrible. <laughs> enough, of, enough of this nonsense. But anyway, this guy here found out, of course, in Australia, and they sit up in the trees. And what's so cool about these guys is that we had to get our hands wet before we handled right. them because he's got this incredible skin. Obviously, as an amphibian, he breathes through that skin. So it's very important that we keep oh, our hands moist okay. for this guy. But the cool thing is, is that the white tree frog in the uh, dry season in Australia, these guys could actually secrete a waxy coating that mm. covers their body and keeps them moist throughout the dry season. And it's highly poisonous and toxic to people. Not touching, on this right? one, but this one <laughs> it is. Because this Thanks, is actually the marine toad or the cane toad. Okay. And yeah, believe it or not, this one is poisonous. Huh. This one secretes, it's got all these little glands all Great. over its body there. And it can actually secrete a poison. And when you eat that, it gets you really sick. And get mm. this, one person every year <gasps> he's moving, dies. He's moving. Oh my gosh, oh, he's he's going up into your sleeves. <laughs> Every year, one person dies. <laughs> <laughs> licking if he a jumps at me, I'm going to freak out. They lick a frog right? and they die. They die. About that. One person licks this to, to get a hallucinogenic <laughs> and they die. Don't lick cane toads. That's right. That <laughs> is the uh, the, the At least the check them first here. before you lick the toad and make sure you've got the right one. <laughs> exactly right. And as you can see, they are quite active little critters. Yeah. Uh, but everybody always asks, you know, frogs here in Florida, how do they survive the winter? They actually hibernate. And they can actually create almost like an antifreeze in their body that actually thaws them out during the winter. So essentially in the wintertime, they freeze. Really? And they essentially die. Okay. And then they actually, they their body creates the antifreeze that re them out Ooh, okay. in the summertime, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look how cute. He loves yeah, you. He's he, sleeping. He does. Yeah, this guy's like actually him. very reserved. You can see him in the summertime playing a lot of croquet. <laughs> oh. I like oh. it. Oh. More tacky the, jokes. The, the studio audience <laughs> Whoa, you go? left the building. <laughs> <laughs> She left. All right, more tacky jokes from Jeff in a little bit. We'll be right back after Couldn't this bring break. The Couldn't bring the cat. <laughs> nope. Couldn't bring the link.